So today I want to start off with welcoming Michael Mitev. Is that how I can I say it? Michael Mitev? Yeah, for yes. Sure. Uh, who is an aspiring producer and uh, a guy who loves to help people making their own sound, making music, helping them learn to mix and master and all of that. Welcome, Michael. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, well, I want to thank you for this opportunity uh, to to be here. Just you know to to have the chance to 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 talk about with you about yeah. uh, this industry. And uh, thank you so much. Yeah, I'm really glad that that you're here. Uh, what I want to start off off with is is um, just just tell me a little bit about yourself. Who are you? Where you're from? Your age? Um, how long have you been producing? Just just a biography about yourself. Well, my name is uh, Michel. Uh, I'm just from Bulgaria. Okay. Uh, actually, I'm living uh, in Spain. Like, I don't remember well, but 20 years. Yeah. So it's quite uh, a lot of time. Uh, I've been producing for at least five years. Mixing a little bit more because I enjoy mixing. Yeah, um, I'm just uh, you know having um, my best time in this industry, trying to help people as you told. Yeah, trying to make uh, the dreams of the people come true. So yeah. I hope you will learn uh, like everyone. Yeah, because you have you have um, mixing basic mixing tutorial PDF that's out, which you can get from you. Yes. Uh, yes. I have it as well. I'm not. I'm not through it yet, but it's. Uh, uh, I think it will help a lot of people. Uh, this tutorial that you made. For sure. And uh, did you say you, how old you were? Uh, twenty-five. Twenty-five years, years old. old. Yeah. I forgot. <laughs> and you were from Bulgaria, as you said. Yes, I. Yes, I do. Yeah. Uh, and why did you move to Spain? Well, we moved uh, for Spain because in my country there are less, uh, you know. Um, less work or maybe yeah, less yeah. Uh, you know situations to to improve yourself yeah so we have to move the whole family with my father my mom and uh, my brothers yeah in order to look for a better life you should have moved to sweden man you, you could be sitting here n right next to me <laughs> <laughs> well uh to be honest um, i'm just planning to make something really huge really big uh, yeah. i don't know where no, but I want to move maybe uh, in Holland or yeah. we'll see in the yeah. future. Uh, it's it's just this, an idea it, that I have. Yeah, it, there's a lot of producer in Holland. I've like met a met a few on Instagram and uh, YouTube and and Twitter and stuff. But there's a lot of people from Holland, young people that are making music. For sure, yeah. for sure. There are, uh, this is like you know the mecca. It's like uh, the biggest. Uh, yeah. Dance festivals and yeah. the whole thing from yeah. Holland, Belgium also. So yeah, yeah. And and talking about uh, big music festivals, um, what's your biggest inspiration now? Like, what's your big biggest biggest uh, inspiration artist or producer or? Well, um, I have a big one, and yeah. then I have secondary and so on. Yeah. Uh, my biggest one is Avicii, of course. Uh, yeah, Avicii. Who's, yeah, who's gone? <laughs> uh, and uh, then I have, of course, Kashmir uh, and also uh, Nicky Romero. Nick they Romero. are so so inspiring for me. The the thing with me is that, I, of course, I know who Avicii is because I'm from Sweden, but I'm so bad with names because I can. <laughs> you, you, I'm sure that I've heard Nicky Romero, but but I can't put him in any where I've listened listen to him or any song or that. So I'm just, I have to get, I think I have to get a bit educated about people making music because I, I just don't remember names. No, yeah, it's fine. I mean, uh, I don't know if you know the, the song uh, from Avicii Levels, yeah. which is the m biggest one, the biggest hit. Then we have uh, Nico Romero, maybe Toulouse. Yeah. Uh, we have as well um, "Let Me Feel," which is one of the beautiful uh, yeah. songs ever for me. And then there are a lot of songs, uh, songs, sorry, uh, where you can see exactly this uh, signed uh, sound, you know, which is uh, his own sound. Okay, so I'm, I'm just gonna move on to the next question. So, how and where do you make your music? So, how is 
Do you sit by your computer, um, type in some chords, make the music, or do, do you go out and and try to get in, inspired by something? Or how 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 and where do you make your music? Well, actually, I like to to make my music. Uh, I mean, my music everywhere. I mean, yeah. I'm just going out with friends, and I use you to think about an idea. Then yeah. I just move to my house. With my studio, and I start just you know uh, typing the charts, uh, trying yeah. to like to recreate the whole thing uh, that I have in my in yeah. my head. So, so usually it comes from everywhere. Yeah. So what do you start off with when you start? Do you you start making the chords? What what kind of instrument do you start with? I love the piano. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's it's the the basic instrument that yeah. every producer should use uh, in, whenever. He starts so she starts music, making music yeah i love the piano the piano someone told me once that if you make a song if you make a full song with synths and stuff if you can play the whole song on a piano and it sounds good then the song is really good <laughs> what do you yeah. think about that <laughs> sure i mean um uh, if you know how to manage the situation to make something yeah. with like uh, less quality sounds good yeah. Then when you bring it with huge yeah. sounds and it will sound amazing and yeah. this is something that I used to to you know to work with. Yeah, that's the the thing with uh, the piano is that it it suits almost every genre of music. It's pop. Absolutely, you can, you can have it in death metal. You can have it like anywhere. The piano is perfect. Exactly, uh, the classic music from yeah. Mozart, Beethoven. Yeah, uh, they already used a lot of piano, uh, and uh, we have to get like this example from them, you know. And uh, uh, one of the best things about piano that you can get really expired so fast. Yeah, you don't need even to th to rethink the, the the whole concept. Just you know, by having small basic idea about chart yeah. progressions and wherever. Or even if you don't, just start typing or recreating your melodies. Yeah. And maybe sometimes, but just recreating the charts, you can start yeah. a new song from scratch. Yeah. So where where did you or when when did you like start making music? When when did you get the idea that oh, I want to make music? Where did you get that from? Um. Well, <laughs> that's a huge question. Yeah. Thank you so much for <laughs> it. Um. I remember, uh, like watching, uh, I was Ultra Music Festival in 2011, 2012, yeah. and uh, just uh, watching Avicii in the live stream, and I told myself I want to make the music like uh, he does, you know. Yeah. And then I just started, uh, you know, this uh, like uh, downloading the, the the basic trial version of uh, Fruity Loops and tweaking some naps, you know, and uh, just a bunch of things, you know, and uh, that's all. Yeah. Then uh, I had the chance to, to get more serious, uh, you know, to improve my, my quality. Uh, of course, the most important thing, in my opinion, yeah. in order to get inside the thing is just to study the, the style. Yeah. And then just overdoing things and uh, it will progress for sure. Yeah. So yeah. this is what I did. So I was thinking about it. Um, because I want to make, with all the guests that I have here, I want to make a Spotify playlist or a SoundCloud playlist. So yeah. I want to, so I want you to name, just take two of your favorite songs uh, that other produce. I know it's hard, but just try to Whoa. try to grab them from your heart. Two two songs that that you really fell in love with that you listen to still. And then I want one of your own songs, if you have any released, yes. uh, and I want to put them in the same playlist, so all the guests have one playlist. I think that would be real cool. Well, that's a huge idea. Yeah. Uh, I'm just smiling because I can't uh, believe uh, <laughs> I never thought something like this. It's yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, well, about the songs, um, I would say "Heaven" from uh, Avicii. Yeah which is amazing song and uh, it's really inspiring and of course i would say maybe um high on life from martin garrix high on life yeah 
exactly. Perfect. Oh, exactly. And, the, yeah. and then what? Uh, one of your own songs. Uh, it can be a song that you just mixed, or it can be one of your uh, own productions. Well, actually, um, it's a song that is not released yet. Yeah. Uh, but exclusively for you, I'm going to finish it. And yeah. uh, well, the whole concept, the whole the whole concept, it's uh, already finished. Yeah. But I want to tweak and uh, give my own flavor at the end. So. Uh, I promise you, within yeah, yeah. a month, I will be just uh, giving you the, the exclusive file, so yeah. people will be able to enjoy it. Perfect, perfect. Uh, I guess you don't have a name for it yet, so it will no, just, it, it will yeah. it will be a surprise for all the exactly. people that wants to yeah, follow the playlist. Yeah. To be honest, to be honest with you, I don't know how to name it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Some, <laughs> sometimes it happens. I have like. Uh, G five seven key or yeah. whatever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like or ID. Uh, I have uh, what what what's it what's it called when you're in the? Oh, I have to just have to open here one second. Uh, if I take if I go back to start, <laughs> it's just it's just called. 2019-07-29, you know, all, yes. all my all my songs start out as just a, a date in the calendar. That's yes. that's usually, and then, I mean, if you have any ly lyrics in your song, the mm -hmm. I, I guess the most popular thing is to, in the chorus, take the most meaningful words in the chorus and make that exactly. as, but, but, exactly. I, but yeah, uh, I, I think people do that because it's easier to it's easier to, to find the song yeah to to be remembered about the song mm. so I know I know that you're really busy branding yourself you have this uh, awesome page fresh production tips on Instagram uh, it's really helpful for producers like me who's new into the game and wants to learn more you have a, a lot of knowledge but i want to know how much time do you spend making music every day or every week making music for yourself or mixing and mastering how much time every week do you spend making music or mixing music well usually i spend like three four days mixing yeah. uh actually this is my current uh like income and yeah. uh I love to mix uh, new genres, uh, yeah. songs uh, for myself or clients. So most of my time actually it's spent uh, just on mixing and mastering by myself the yeah. whole tracks and producing maybe I would say two, three hours per week uh, plus minus just, you know, tweaking some songs, uh, some yeah. old uh, unfinished tracks that I have. But <clears throat> when when you say mix to me, when you when you get a track, is it is it fully edited? Mm -hmm. Is it edited or or is it or do you have to edit all the all the instruments as well? Like line them up, line every instrument up perfect into the like so it hits at the same time and stuff. Or is it just do you just do the overall mixing or do you do the editing as well? No, uh, when I when I have the chance to mix a song from from a client, yeah, uh, I used to ask always for uh, you know the stems. Uh, yeah. The stems uh, is just a WAV file uh, yeah. that many people brings in order to be able to mix the song. Yeah. I used to mix my my songs in a different project, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So once I get this whole uh, zip with yeah. uh, you know the whole uh, the instrumentation. Whole I just put put them in the in the in the devil. I I don't know how to say this in English, but it's like you know the DAO. Yeah, so the DAO, yeah. once I have it, uh, it's everything uh, as it should be. Yeah. So I just start putting the colors, you know, grouping things, labeling, and so on. Yeah, because my friend he 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 mixed my. I've done a few things. I've I've been a metalcore drummer, and I've been. We have like. 15 tracks on Spotify as a mm -hmm. group called As We Burn, but then I made three songs with my brother as a pop duo. It's like this really I don't know how to. It's almost like uh, it's like back Backstreet Boys with the uh, guitars and <laughs> it's, 
<laughs> yeah, well, uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it. <laughs> it sounds nice, but the thing is, the my friend that does the mixing and the production overall, he, he tell he told me that the thing that takes him the most time is after we record our vocals and stuff is to edit the vocals so that that they are perfectly in line. Because I mean, you can be on tempo when you sing yes. but the thing yes. is you you want them to be perfect you know what i mean it, it has to be like usually yeah um usually uh yeah sometimes we have to deal with it yeah but when i get the steams um yeah. it's really difficult to edit because yeah. i don't have the original project no so if you mix in the same project yeah uh yes we sometimes we used to make this but mm. when you when we have the whole thing yeah. with the steams uh, we don't have uh, so much, you know, space or so much uh, tools in order to, to 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 edit exactly this thing, you know. Yeah. But yes, it can be done exactly. Oh, and this question, uh, because this is our third time <laughs> speaking together, uh, I forgot I forgot this question last time, and it and it's it sounds like this: What's your biggest struggle at the moment in your mu music career or or whatever? What's what's the biggest struggle for you at the moment? What do you feel like, you oh. know, bothers you? <laughs> um, I, th I think I this is say... good. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, no, tell me, tell me, sorry. Yeah. I think this is really good to... you. All the producers out there, you know, everyone has their own struggle. It's really good to hear how, how people have their own struggle and to... Maybe to get some value out of it and... And maybe they can see that, oh, yeah, you know, other people have some problems as well. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really gonna just focus and get it done. But what's your biggest struggle at the moment? Well, my biggest struggle at the moment, uh, well, I would say it's like um, having in common what's the next yeah. to move on, you know, uh, because you have a lot of ideas in your head and yeah. uh, you have to focus at the end on maybe few of them yeah. or just one of them and then to progress with the rest. Yes. So I would say clearly it's just uh, on getting the, the the concept on something and uh, just going for it. Yeah, yeah. The th the thing with me is that I can have like fifty ideas in my head, and uh -huh. I can, and the thing with me then could be that I'm I don't miss opportunity of something else, but I miss I never get stuff done because I start new projects all the time. No, so that's that's a thing that I want to really get better at as um, as a person is to you know focus on fewer things and get them done instead of instead of doing thirty things at at one time. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I think well, this is uh, for me also. Yeah. But I would say we have to we have to think that. The most important is finishing things, yeah. uh, because if we just start over and over again, we won't be able to progress. Yeah. And at the end, if we want to make something big, uh, whenever we feel ready to start with, uh, and uh, doesn't matter in which side you are, yeah. the music producer, the, yeah. the school, the university, wherever, you have to stay focused and just finishing things yeah. and things. So uh, by doing this over and over and over, you will accustom yourself to be more productive. Yeah. Rather rather than just uh, starting over and over new ideas that uh, won't you know make yeah. you happy unless you finish the product yeah. and you see yourself progressing and making uh, errors, you know. Yeah, because the thing is, back in the days, I I started so many tracks. I I did a new track every day because I couldn't finish my music uh, and a thing that I've been thinking about um, for a while is that maybe if you're stuck on a beat or a music project maybe you have a friend that works with music music as well and send it to him can you finish this for me do you have any any tracks that you you can't finish and let's work together because I've the thing with me Back in the days, I never worked with anyone about anything. I just did. I want. Do you know the feeling? I want to do this on my own, but that's not really the case anymore. You have to, you have to talk to people to become better. You have to work with other people to make make better music. You know what? I I seriously believe 
that uh, nowadays you can't succeed by yourself no. uh, in this industry. It's possible because uh, it's possible, you know, this is something that can be done, but with help, uh, reaching out with uh, another people, you know, and uh, just asking for help, uh, yeah. including <laughs> yourself in the project and, you know, just combining ideas and even, you know, just helping others yeah. you will feel better uh you will enjoy more what you have done yeah and of course you will be creating one of the most important tools nowadays uh, which is the contact you know the partnership uh, yeah. and this will make you grow as person and of course as an artist producer dj whatever uh area you are on yeah of course so what are you working on at the moment what's your biggest projects at the moment that you want to talk about well at the moment um, i'm just planning to make like a mixing guide yeah uh, officially mixing yeah. guide like a small bug yeah uh and i hope uh, it will get realized uh, maybe uh, at the end of this year yeah i will try to make it on you know a uh, kind of pdf bug i yeah. mean uh, version and of course official book yeah which you will be able to hold on yourself and go in the forest and read yeah, it yeah, without yeah. mobiles so you will enjoy and i want just to 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 make sure people will get ready for it because uh, you know it's a huge project that i have yeah and i hope they will um, you know they will enjoy it as much as i will do creating it so this is for me and uh, one of my biggest projects right now yeah. in my in my page, just mm -hmm. to 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 help uh, to help out people, in order to resolve all of them, uh, you know, all the questions that I, that yeah. they have uh, through my day life. Yeah, because weekly uh, you 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 say the quest, you put up the question on on your Insta story, and you 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 ask people, um, or you tell them to. Uh, Tell me, tell me what you, or ask me anything about mixing, you say. And yeah. you get a lot of questions. Wow. <laughs> what, what is the question that you get the most? Um, the most asked question, I would say it's like, um, how to start mixing properly or what is the step that I have to, yeah. which are the steps that I have to follow in order to uh, get a, a good mix or yeah. this is the the most asked question and uh, it's really <laughs> difficult because there is not just one process uh, no. it's a small step starting from arranging the track through the whole uh, you know uh, many people they don't pay attention to these small details but through you know the sound design the, the whole selection of the sound the arranging the tracks editing the tracks the vocals wherever yeah. and then just you know focusing on fully mixing the track by itself with uh, you know when you have a track uh, without mixing it should sound at least 35 to 40 percent right to you yeah so then when it comes to mixing you will get the hundred percent yeah of the potential of the track so yeah definitely i think this is the most uh, asked question awesome so i want to so i want to give you three situations all right uh, about let's say we have three producers so let's start off with the first producer he's 15 years old just started he don't know anything about mixing he's got a copy of fl studio and he's starting his journey now to make music and he really he really knows that this is the thing for him he loves making music what's what's your biggest tip for this guy he's 15 years old just got his fl studio uh, and wants to make music successfully. What's your biggest tip to this guy? My biggest tip is uh, try learning everything that you can. Uh, YouTube is a good source. Uh, yep. I won't uh, lie on you, but the thing is, you know, uh, you have to start from the bottom. Uh, yep. You have to, to choose one genre, which is the most important thing to focus on building your own skills. Yeah. Uh, start by tweaking, start by knowing uh, the whole uh, concept of the shortcuts that will improve your workflow, of course. Yeah. And just focusing uh, yourself on improving your skills in the in your DAO, yeah. because it's really important. Doesn't matter if you are trying to produce in FL Studio, mm -hmm. in Logic, in Pro Tools, wherever. The most important is 
knowing your tools uh, yeah. correctly. You know, that that will give you the powerness yeah. of you know. I, I I love that tip because when I started off, I was. You know, I never used key bindings. I never used anything. I because I was like, I don't need this. I can make music. I know what sounds good. But the thing is, it's a long journey to become good at making music. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, because you can have the create, 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 creative, creativity. You can have the creativity to 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 make music, but then. Maybe you you suck on the mixing and gain staging and and stuff that you n really need to know, and maybe you don't know any tools. So I love that you say that you should learn, you should focus on the focus on the DAW from the beginning. Absolutely, no, knowing what what you can do with it, so you know your tools. That's a really good tip. You know what? Uh, I've been looking many years uh, for people that you know bring something new to the table yeah. uh, and uh, I'm just ending up with people that they just focus on like buying new stuff new stuff new yeah. stuff like uh, I don't know maybe 5 10 11 compressors uh, yeah. EQs and uh, at the end of the day to be honest with you um, yeah. you can create mix and mastering a song with stock plugins. Yeah, yeah. You can do it. Yeah. You can do it. Definitely. Yes. You don't need to have these fancy wave plugins, these fancy, you know, UAD plugins. No. They will improve your uh, sound. They will give a small flavor to your uh, home char yeah. uh, home charger. Yeah. But at the end, to get a professional mix, you don't need fancy plugins. No. Uh, this is so. You just need to know your uh, tools. Yeah. Experiment with them, uh, focusing on learning as much as you can, and and even try. I I say I say always say uh, before buying plugins or everything, just yeah. try the versions, yeah. free versions. Yeah. Try new free plugins. There are a lot of bunch seriously of compressors, really good compressors. Ken Glenn, it's one of the best ones, which is for free. They have seriously mm, huge saturators, compressors. And they are for free. Uh, OTT is one of the best, of course. So you don't need to have fancy equipment, equi no. equipment. Sorry. And in order to make something really big, really huge in this industry, you just need to have a lot of motivation, yeah. a lot of patience, consistency. Yeah. And uh, for me, the most important thing is, uh, as I told you before, to stay on the road. Yeah. The thing, the thing with me though was that I. I had FL Studio like when I was 15, 15 years old, uh, 11 years ago, and and then I just used the thing that I had. But now when I started, I'm, I I had this epiphany in the in the beginning of this year that I'm I'm gonna do everything on my own. I'm gonna learn producing. I'm gonna I'm gonna really get my act together. I'm gonna start doing this. So I started off buying Fab Filter Pro. Uh, the bundle, the first thing yeah. I did. But the the thing is that maybe I didn't need that from the beginning. It's a good, mm -hmm. it's a good, it's it's really good plugins. But I mean, I could have taught myself with the stock pl plugins, as you said. Definitely, yeah. um, Fab Filter. It's only one. You know, yeah. you have EQ, you have multiband compressor, you have yeah. this the de uh, So. If you can invest on yourself, yeah. on your uh, journey, on your uh, career, yeah. do it. Yeah, which is course. really important because I do believe if you don't invest on yourself, not only money, because money is not everything. Uh, and many people think if you have money, you have everything. Yeah. And this is not right. Because sometimes, you know, you need something really important that it's called time. Uh, yeah. If you invest time on yourself, on your goals, uh, you will... Uh, reach something really huge, really important, which is uh, you will be able to make whatever you want. Yeah. And uh, just by having the time, the right time, the right tools, you know, uh, of course, the right amount of, of, of knowledge about mixing, uh, about mastering uh, yeah. production, you, you will have everything. And then if you have some type of investment in money, 
then you are ready in this yeah. industry yeah. definitely yeah uh, so i want the the other the other situation is a person that's about my age he's uh, i'm 26 years old and i've i've been in the music uh, music business whatever you call it for a while uh, but i'm but i'm still i know creativity i can make and arrange songs but i'm not that good at mixing and doing the end product what what would be your tip for a person like me who's a bit older and knows a bit about music but uh, who's not really there yet with the mixing and mastering i would say uh first of all the age is just one number <laughs> yeah of course of course <laughs> uh which no no this is a joke yeah uh answering your question uh i think if you have something like if you miss uh if you are good at production but you miss yeah. uh, the mixing side you have to focus maybe six twelve months yeah. just mixing songs yeah. um i'm not quite sure uh but there are i, I will uh, give you the link uh afterwards yeah about it was like you know a page that let you download um like free projects okay yeah you know to mix oh cool in order to improve your skills yeah and uh when i started i had the chance to you know to to mix a lot of sounds uh and songs you know and then just starting by you know tweaking things i came up with this sound so my question my answer to the question will be focus on something that it's important for you that will make yeah. you improvement if you yeah. are good at mixing leave the mixing uh behind and start with production yeah and empower yeah. this uh, side yeah i i think i really i really need that but you you said you had a page and you will link it to me yes i, I do think, i will I think, link it to you yeah because i'm thinking i will i will put that link as well because this will be a youtube video for everyone to see so i will put that link down there as well if someone feels that they have the same problem they need to learn the mixing stuff so we'll have that link for everyone down there for so sure that, that that's really good okay so now situation number three let's say you're you're really you've done all your years production wise you you know your stuff you've done so much music and you you have the mixing and mastering really tight you know you know your stuff but you still have you have 300 people on instagram you, you no one no one knows your capability of making music no one knows who you are what would be your tip to that person my tip is clearly to start focusing on branding yourself yeah. on social media uh there are a few ways you know you can start by uploading once a week or maybe twice a week uh, yeah. like songs you know yeah. your oldest project finished yeah uh this will be my first my second uh will be just try to feature yourself in the studio yeah. making some selfies showing your uh, equipment you know trying to talk uh, with small videos about yeah. what you are doing yeah. uh of course one of the most powerful tools that we have nowadays is social media and we have to take advantage on it uh but you can use also some um which is really 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 huge and i have a tip on my page about it yeah. uh about distributor uh, pages yeah. for online services yeah uh destro kit it's one of those uh cd baby it's uh, another yeah. one they will provide you with the necessary tool in order to um, get your music known yeah. in so in social platforms like Spotify, SoundCloud. SoundCloud is not even important, you know, it's important but mm. not so much. iTunes, also, you know, uh, Apple Music, uh, yeah. which is a huge, huge branding. And uh, all those online platforms will help you get known in this yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, big competition industry. Yeah. Because I, I know a page, I don't remember the name of it now, but I, I tried it out with my pop duo with my brother. It, it, I don't remember, remember the name, but it's you upload your song and then you, can, then you can go into a tab where you can upvote or downvote other people's songs. 
Oh, and mm-hmm. write a comment like, oh, this was good, but it needed this and stuff. And then at the same time, if you put in a few few dollars, you can send them to, if you have an EDM track or or something like that, you can send that to uh, labels, and they have to answer by mail. So that's a really wow. that's that's a really good page if you if you if you want to send it to people, they maybe can give you a, some some more constructive uh, feedback on your tracks. Definitely. Yeah. Um, there, are, there is a page called uh, Demo Drop. Demo Drop, yeah. Which is, yeah, which is really famous. And yeah. actually it's quite the same thing that you have said. Yeah, yeah. Um, they help you. You can upload for free the song. Yeah. Uh, many people, if you uh, enable the function download, many people will be able to download the song. Yeah. So, uh, you know. They they will play the song and eventually if they like it, uh, yeah. ask you yeah. for f- mm-hmm. further collaborations or whatever. Yeah. But the thing is, um, uh, this page it's all about helping people to get known. You know, yeah. by them, by 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 submitting your song, uh, you know, to demo drop, which is not submitting exactly, but you're creating your your own page. Then uh, with the option submit track, which is just upload a track. Uh, you will be uploading the track. If they approve your track, it will appear uh, within 24 hours, if I am not wrong, uh, exactly. Um, yeah. They will be able to, you know, to, to get feature yourself on the biggest, uh, like, uh, list yeah. over there. Yeah. So if you pay your subscription, which is um, free for you, if you don't uh, need the necessity to, to, you know, to invest, yeah. On this side, you will have just the the basic functionality. But if yeah. you pay the small amount of uh, of you know of cost, uh, you will have uh, additional features that will help you yeah. as well to get known uh, and even to to get to the biggest list of names. You know, with the most play, played played uh, songs over there. So this is another um, site that can be you know um, used. It's as well like something like TikTok. Yeah, yeah, More like, uh, yeah. That's a good branding tool as well. If I mean, if you're a singer or anything, I mean, you can just sing on TikTok without putting any music in the back. I mean, for sure, for yeah. sure. It's 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 an amazing. You know, we have a lot of tools. Yeah. That we don't even know about them. Uh, and, and the most uh, are free. Th- the most exactly most things are free. Yeah. You know what? Um, I do believe something that people, most of the people uh, won't agree with me, but I do believe if you believe in yourself, yeah. if you work your ass off, but seriously, not just telling I'm going to start tomorrow yeah. or whatever, you can make it. Yeah. It's it's a possible game. Uh, many people used to, 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 I don't know how to say, uh, but it's a, used to use some expressions just to, to to make them feel that they can achieve it. No, yeah. Like, uh, I don't know if it will work. Um, this song, it's really bad. They, they not gonna like it. Uh, yeah. They not gonna like it. Uh, I'm not going to make this because I'm so bad producer. Yeah. Uh, if you start believing uh, like this, I'm quite sure you won't be able to reach anything no. in life. No. Uh, even just by you know by the most stupid thing in your life. If you think uh, in the negative side of the things, you won't yeah. be able. Also, there is a page which is, uh, I would like to recommend it because uh, back in the day when I started, it helped me a lot. Yeah. It's called uh, Vocal Air, uh, Vocal Air, or Vocal, or, I don't vocal know. Vocal Air, so, like yeah. something like that? Uh, yeah, without the E, yeah, okay. so Vocal Air. Uh, it helps you to to find some exactly. Yeah. It helps you to find some uh, singers. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you have uh, the best thing about this page is you have, if I'm not wrong, three or five free downloads. Okay. Yeah. So you can test some small clips there or royalty free. Yeah. And you can pay uh, like a small subscription, uh, you know, in order to download files. Yeah, you can find like I would say more than I would say more than ten thousand vocals yeah. over there, 
from singers uh, and even you can contact them for a further information or yeah. further collaboration so it's another huge and powerful tool in order to to look for samples of vocals yeah. and uh yeah That's awesome. to get That's started awesome. with your productions perfect perfect uh so to jump off topic at a, a bit i just want to ask you because this is a thing that I, w I will ask everyone that's on the show, and that's what's your biggest obsession at the moment, uh, non-music related, like uh, is it, do you like follow a certain football team, or do you do you uh, like eat nachos every day because you love it, or do, <laughs> or or do you drink Pepsi, or whatever, like the biggest thing in your everyday life at the moment, what's the, what's your biggest obsession? Uh, well, out of music and music industry uh, world, um, my well, I won't be able to call it like an obsession because uh, I don't like the obsession things. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say like uh, it's you know making sport. Yeah, yeah. I like to make uh, cycling. I like to go to the mountain. Yeah. Uh, after this call, I'm going to the mountain. So. Yeah, oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going yeah. to with a uh, with a friend. Yeah. Uh, it's Sunday, so I like to enjoy the nature. Yeah. Uh, which is beautiful. Um, I like to to swim. Yeah. In the sea. Um, I like. I love to spend time with my uh, lover. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, with my loved ones, um, with my friends, uh, yeah. I like to go for a walk with my dog. Yeah. Uh, this is the little things of the life that uh, I really appreciate. And uh, to be honest with you, yeah. thanks to them, I am able to, you know, to to start over and over once a day, once a week with yeah. my uh, with my job. You know, because yeah. sometimes uh, when you are just in in, in your, you know. Uh, in your room, yeah. you're getting just, you know, uh, focused on everything and uh, you don't see what's going on around you. Right. And yeah. uh, sometimes to get uh, this disconnection, it's, uh, it's the best. So yeah. for me, it's the sport and of course, hanging out with friends. Yeah, that's awesome. The, the thing that I feel that, because you see, you see me here, I'm sitting in a, a three square little uh, <laughs> wardrobe. Thing. Uh, this is my studio at the moment uh, but the thing is my, me and my friend will have the opportunity to get a studio here uh, in town um, and I think that will be really pr productive for me because the thing is when you when you have your studio at home all the time is you can be disturbed in in certain ways like you know oh, I have to do this I'm home uh, you know the thing is that when you have a studio somewhere else, it's like you have nothing else to do there but to do your actual work that you need to get done. The thing with sitting home, oh yeah, I forgot, to, I, have, I have to do my laundry or I have to cook <laughs> dinner, you know. But when you're away in the studio, you can't do anything else. So <laughs> the thing you will do is to work. Seriously, I do believe if you have the chance to... Yeah. You know, to build your own studio yeah. uh, is the best thing yeah. ever because, you know, even if you have the chance to work with a friend of you, yeah. uh, you will end up creating something really huge, really, really yeah. beautiful. And of course, you will enjoy the most important thing that is your patience. Yeah. So I really strongly believe that if you focus on yourself in the studio, which is uh, in this case out of your house, the future uh, one, yeah. uh, you will be ending by, you know, by, by creating some amazing vibes. Yeah. And of course, uh, who knows? Maybe we will see you um, <laughs> on on some big Spotify list. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm hoping for that, or I'm, or I'm not hoping. I'm working towards it. But uh, exactly. But I I do have the patience, and I know that maybe I need five years or ten years. You don't know. But the thing is, you oh you have to be as you said before persistent. You have to you have to put in the work every day. You can't go around and oh, I hope someone will catch an eye to move towards me and make me famous. You have to do things yourself. You know what? Uh, you have to pursue, yeah, this this whole idea because yeah. sometimes 
people think if you have the music, uh, it's, it's everything that you need. And uh, sometimes, and it it is something applied to my to me to my to my ethic to my branding. And yeah. uh, sometimes I used to to DM big companies. You know, not only by uh, you know uh, presenting myself to them, but only, but maybe just in in the way of uh, offering them the way to to work with me, you know, yeah. or just work to, with them, and to make this uh, close relationship. So, uh, a huge advice that I want to give to all producers is: don't be um, like. Uh, don't get so weird by just you know by by getting out and reaching out with people uh, to get a huge collaborate is not so difficult. You have to step up your game, ask, yeah. you know, maybe for a favor or maybe just bring out your best track. Yeah. Uh, tell him, hey, I have a huge idea. Uh, my name is uh, Robert. I yeah. am from Switzerland. Uh, whatever. Yeah. So if you do these steps, uh, I assure you, someone will catch you and yeah. uh in the future you know i i do believe the 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 biggest things in life uh they came with the with the um, when 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 you don't even uh, uh how to say desperate for them yeah yeah when you work for you know daily 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 when you put the work and you put out your work yeah you will end up with something really huge because you don't even focus on this idea i want to be in tomorrowland in two years no and you're no. focused 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 but when you reach these two years you will up your you will end up yourself in a small town uh in the small local who knows maybe you will be in tomorrowland i don't yeah. know but yeah it's probably this obsession sometimes uh it's necessity it is necessary but uh, on the other hand, uh, if you work on yourself, on your yeah. skills, improving, and then if you show this improvement to the world, then the world will reach out to you. Yeah, the, yeah, because that's the thing. I think that you have to, you have to enjoy where you're at now. You, can, I, I don't believe if you're sitting and making music and thinking like, oh, uh, man, if I don't get to Tomorrowland in two years, I mean. I will end this this because uh, I don't want to do this. You have to, you have to like every second that you're working with it. Because if you just work and you enjoy it, then then you already won. Exactly, the yeah. process is the most important thing, yeah. you know. And uh, I, I would say this is the most important thing in in our lives. Yeah. You know, uh, when you're with your friends hanging out, you have to enjoy this moment. Rather yeah. than just focusing on uh, your mobile phone or whatever, the yeah. process, the process by itself, it, it is just you know the way of enjoying everything that it, every every stage of, of your journey, you know, from when you wake up, you go to to for a fast running, or yeah. maybe you're getting a coffee, you're enjoying the the weather. This is the process, you know, because yeah. this is the small things in life. And uh, with our big, uh, our you know, like um, uh, big uh, goals in your life is the same thing. You know, yeah. if you don't enjoy the process from the beginning, you will end up by having. I think, of course, and uh, I do believe you will uh, you will end having less than you expect. Yeah, because you want it now and now and now, and sometimes. Yeah. Things are just by time. If it's not your time, yeah. doesn't matter what you have done. Doesn't matter what what you have to, to to make this. You know, so just focus yourself on building. You know, this uh, time on on you know on getting right in your in your goals and yeah. just working day by day, day yeah. by day, day by day. Don't lose the focus, and of course everything will came up to you. And yeah. if you fail. Even if you fail, remember the most important thing. It's really, really, really necessary to to uh, to fail in order to 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 yes, improve yourself. Yes. So like, this is the third time recording this <laughs> this this podcast. <laughs> so you have to fail <laughs> to 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 get there. Yeah. Well, don't. You know what? Um, yeah. I, don't. Yeah. Sure. No. No. Tell me. Yeah. Yeah. You don't be. Uh, I don't think people should be discouraged when they fail. They, it's oh. like many people 
when they fail, they think that they failed for real. But I mean, if you fail, if you even if you fail 10, 15 times, then you have learned something every time. And Absolutely. that's the thing that you should think about. Oh, why did I fail this time? What, what did I do? What can I do next time to not get in this situation? Exactly. I do believe uh, if we don't give up on our dreams and our day life, we will be ending up by having something really, really huge, which is the experience. Yeah. And many people don't realize how important is the experience because the next time you don't, start, you won't be able to start from the from the beginning, from scratch. You will be starting from the experience. Yeah. So if you're starting from the experience, that means you have something. Yes. And approach. You, will, you know exactly. Yeah. And you will have another day, another day of experience, and and I mean you can always use this. I mean, if if you start the next project with another producer or another artist, it, you know so much more than because you've already Absolutely. done this failure, and and people, I mean, if you have done a thousand failures and you start to work with a new artist again, then that time may be, may be the time where everything just glues together because you've already failed so much that, I mean, yeah, you should fail so much that you can't fail anymore. I mean, you shouldn't be afraid to to do a failure. To be, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm going to say something which is really inspiring for the people. I've been failing my whole life. Uh, probably I've been one of the, of, of these kind of persons like, that had to had to, to deal with with a lot of situations in life that uh, it's called failure, you know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my father and my mother, uh, they back in the days they didn't uh, believe that uh, I will uh, I would be uh, like a lawyer or maybe. No. And uh, this is a fail for me because yeah. sometimes I do think that if if your parents, you know, and if they don't support you, they don't believe in you, so you will fail, you know, in yeah, this life. Yeah. Uh, when I started this project, uh, you know, I started with zero followers, with yeah. uh, everyone does zero everyone. contacts. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you know me, and yeah. uh, I had to start from scratch, from zero, uh, posting new tips, uh, just helping people because you know, if you help, you will be helped. So you will fail. Uh, yeah. You can't avoid failing. It doesn't matter if you're hanging out with a girl and she said to you tomorrow, I don't love you anymore. You will be ending by yourself with experience. Yeah. Uh, you know, and this is the most important thing. Once you start once again, a yeah. new path, you will get even more motivated uh, on what you are doing and remember just being yourself, which yeah. is for me, the key. Yeah. The key. You know, course, and uh, yeah. the experience, the, the the experience, the consistency, uh, you know, uh, the focus, and be yourself. Yeah. Oh, I I really love that you took the time to be a part of this uh, podcast or audio experience. I really enjoy having you here, uh, Michael. You're a big inspiration for me. Uh, Thank you. You and you have helped me a lot with. Uh, tips and tricks and how to make my music become even better so I I really do promote you guys to go to fresh production tips and give him a follow go check his tips out if you if you go through all of his tips and and if you just talk to him you can send him up your your beats he have all all kinds of knowledge and can give you it can give you the best education uh, for starters like me and like yourself so really, really, go give him some love. He really, really deserves it. Thank you so much. It's uh, it's been a, a pleasure for me, even if we had to record it <laughs> yeah. uh, for the first <laughs> for the first time. Yeah. Um, I have to say it's a honor to be able to to have you as friend, um, and of course as supporter. You have yeah. been with me uh, since day two. Um, it's it's a huge honor for me to have uh, such a humble guy, such a wor work harder, yeah. uh, inspired music uh, musician. I would call you because you try to help people with uh, their struggles in yeah. music production, and uh, 
the most important thing is, you know, to stay, uh, you know, in, on road, as I told you before, be humble, yeah. trying to reach out people uh, to help. And uh, I would like to promote you, of course, uh, because uh, your podcast for me, it's it's a huge way to promote producers uh, yeah. uh, to get down. Um, to step up, to step up your game uh, on this industry, which is one of the most uh, difficult challenges in uh, yeah. in our era. Doesn't matter if we have social media; it's really difficult because there are a lot of producers, and yeah. new ones are burning every, every single day. Yeah. So, if we surround with positive vibes, with uh, good people, with people that help us, not only in the way of just uh, getting a collab, a collaboration, just to help you with. As you said, maybe with just one tip or trick or whatever, yeah. uh, it will make uh, us better persons, be better people, better humans. Of course, human being it's one of the most important things. So, thank you so much for this yeah. opportunity, bro. Thank um, you. Thank you. Seriously, I do believe you're going to succeed with uh, your podcast. I do believe a lot of producers will get uh, advantage by 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 your podcast. Uh, they will get known. Um, I'm, I'm seriously quite sure you will be able to help a lot of people with their uh, struggles. And of course, uh, I will try to help you as yeah. much as I can because it's really difficult to meet people like you nowadays. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so thank you so much uh, once again for this opportunity. Hope to see you again, uh, maybe in my podcast in the yeah, future. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see about yeah. uh, this project. I will uh, I will say something in the future. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, definitely you will be one of my guests. Yeah, that's, that would be... Uh, uh, I want to know your a... story. Yeah, that would be an honor. <laughs> so, an honor. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, thank you so much. And uh, I'm really, really excited to see the next one who will be yeah. the first one. So, yes. yeah. Thank you so much, and it was a pleasure and a honor for me. Yeah, thank you. I, I just have one, uh, one small thing left, and that's I want you to ask a question to my next guest. You don't know who it is, and you don't, don't know who, what he does, but I want you to give him an, a question. Okay, so my question for your next uh, guest it will be what's your biggest goal in yeah. 2019 yes perfect that's perfect okay that was all from uh from this pod podcast this time uh, i hope to see you next time and i i really hope you enjoyed it tell your friends and uh, yeah all of that thank you so much michael and uh, i think we will have you on this podcast a few more times i know you have so much value to give yeah Thank you. Bye.